What is up, YouTube? We are SJJ Gaming, and in today's video, we are going to be bringing you our Colossal Knight build that we created using dual Colossal weapons. I currently play this build, and it is it is a blast. So anyways, with that out of the way, let's get into it. Okay, so weapon-wise, we are running the Ruins Greatsword plus 10. And this weapon requires a minimum of 50 strength and 16 intellect, so it does take some time before you can get to that level of strength. Our offhand weapon is the Star Scourge Greatsword, which you can get after defeating General Radon in the Red Main Castle. Uh, this weapon requires 38 strength, 12 dexterity, and 15 intellect. Our main weapon art when we use this build will be the Wave of Destruction, which is the weapon art of the Ruins Greatsword. For our talismans, we are currently running the Star Scourge Heirloom, which raises our strength by 5, the Radagon Scar Seal, which raises your melee stats but increases the damage we take, the Great Jar's Arsenal, which greatly increases our equip load, and the Claw Talisman, which is, uh, in my opinion, the, the bread and butter of this build. This talisman increases our jump attacks, and the way that this build works is we are focusing on doing as many jump attacks as possible. Currently, we are level 131. We have 48 Vigor, 10 Mind, 43 Endurance, which is probably overkill, but it does help us a little bit with our Stamina Management, 65 Strength, 12 Dexterity, which is the minimum to equip the Scar Star Scourge Greatsword, 30 Intelligence to help boost the weapon art damage, 8 Faith, and 11 Arcane, which are just base stats from the class. Keep in mind, some of these stats are raised by the talismans, such as the Radagon Scar Seal and the Star Scourge Heirloom. So the way we play this build is by focusing on jump attacks. Depending on the enemy or boss with our current stats, our jump attacks will usually stagger them in one to two, sometimes three hits. We use the Wave of Destruction weapon art to either hit from range or to hit multiple enemies at once, and a lot of times, this weapon art will knock your enemy down, leading to an easy attack and sometimes an even harder hitting jump attack. All in all, this build is just fun. Being it is a strength build and we are dual wielding with no shield, you will have to trade blows with the enemies unless you're absolutely perfect at timing and dodge rolling. Currently, we have not had a chance to test this out in PvP, but in PvP, it is a blast. Some of the enemies we just absolutely pancake with these weapons. Comment below if you have tried this build or something similar to it, what build video you'd like to see next, and what your favorite build is in the game. Hit that like button and subscribe to see when we post new content. Currently we are updating our Let's Play series videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And as always, thanks for watching. We're going to let the rest of the gameplay footage keep rolling so you guys can see a little bit more of that, and we'll catch you in the next one.